This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the Solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jim Corda, President of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Ron Puhala from Holy Family Parish. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Richard Case. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Who is the King of glory? How shall we call him? He is Emmanuel, the promise of ages. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So happy to be with you today as we gather to hear God's word and to celebrate the Eucharist, and also mindful of his presence within us. So together let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, of the world have mercy on us. us. You, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe. Grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, the one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king. He, he is robed in majesty. majesty. And he has made the world, world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from everlasting you are, O Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is, is king, king. He, he is robed, robed in, in majesty. majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, 
O Lord, for lengths of days. The Lord, the Lord is, is king. king. He, he is robed in majesty. majesty. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Revelation. Jesus Christ is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, who has made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming amid, amid the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the peoples of the earth will lament him. Yes, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, the one who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, my kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom did belong to this world, my attendants would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not here. So Pilate said to him, then you are a king. Jesus answered, you say I am a king. For this I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, it sounds too good to be true, probably is. Now, how many times have we heard that saying? If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, it could be the telemarketer who offers you 100% return on your investment. Nothing that good could possibly be true. Or there's a diet program that guarantees that you will lose 30 pounds in 30 days. Now you had better talk to your doctor before that regimen. I'm not sure that losing that much weight in a short period of time is both healthy or even realistic. I saw an article in a magazine recently that offered a college degree for $500. That so-called degree is probably not worth the paper it is printed on. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Now, some people feel that way about the Christian faith. It proclaims a loving God and Father of us all. We are all brothers and sisters in Him. It teaches us that service is the true test of greatness. It asserts that love is stronger than hate. It promises forgiveness for our sins, <clears throat> however heinous they may be. And it looks forward to a day when God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Now, some people would like to believe that about the Christian faith, but they can't. It sounds too good to be true for them. Some people instead prefer to live in a dream world instead of facing the facts and realities of life. 
I, for one, think that it's better to be realistic about life and deal with it not as it is or as we wish it were, but as it really is. I think that Jesus would agree with that. You know, in today's gospel, he said, the reason I was born, the reason that I came into the world is to testify to the truth. So Jesus thought of himself as a realist. The purpose of life, according to Jesus, was to represent the truth. We too need to be realistic, but let us be careful how we label realism. First, do not identify realism with ugliness. You know, the beautiful is no less real than the ugly. At least that much is true, but oftentimes we associate realism with the dark side of life. Look at Calvary, for example. Judas Iscariot was real. So were Pilate and Caiaphas and the soldiers. But the central figure in that event was Jesus Christ. He is no less real than the rest of them. But as time went on, it was Christ that the world remembers. Most of them would have been forgotten had it not been for their association with Jesus. You know, the second area of caution is this. Do not identify realism with cynicism. Sometimes a cynic gets a reputation for being a realist. Cynics say airplanes can never fly. Space travel can never happen. We will never find a cure for cancer. And there will never be peace on Earth. Be careful of calling that realism. We now know that airplanes can fly and space travel is achieved. Who is to say that we cannot find a cure for cancer or a way for nations to live together in peace, in solidarity? A realist is someone who sees the possibilities in life and goes to work on those possibilities. You see, the bottom line is this. The world may last for another 10,000 years or more, but when the last chapter of history is written, Jesus will be the prominent part of it all. And I predict that he will be regarded as the ultimate realist. Many things will have changed, but he will still be there saying, the reason why I came into the world is to testify to the truth. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe, believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son, Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may listen to the voice of our Savior as he testifies to the truth, and that inspired by the Holy Spirit, we may discern the truth and apply it to our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all around the world, leaders may strive for justice and peace, 
as they lead their nations with humility and benevolence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who live under repressive regimes and all who are oppressed by unjust authorities, that they may be sustained daily in hope during their time of trial. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who have harmed others may feel truly remorseful for their actions and be moved to repent for their sins and be given the chance to show their remorse. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those seeking the source of all goodness may find the face of Christ, the King, reflected in the witness of our faith community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, as we celebrate your kingship over our lives, we ask that we continue to serve you by serving others and one day be welcomed to the fullness of your kingdom in heaven. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, <coughs> and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your <laughs> apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessings. Amen. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God with heavenly blessings, make you always holy and pure in his sight. Pour out in abundance upon you the riches of his glory and teach you with the words of truth. May he instruct you in the gospel of salvation and ever endow you with fraternal charity. Amen. Amen. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon the throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns, all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing to Christ who set us free, and hail him as your heavenly King, through all eternity. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, and rose victorious in the strife for those he came to save. His glories now we sing, who died and rose on high, who died eternal life to bring and lives that death may die. Crown him the Lord.